got a bag of yellow bass fillets, yellow bass fillets. What I'm planning to do is, I'm not sure how yet, but I'm, I know for sure I'm gonna make some fish la. We got some mung pepper right here, some chopped up lemongrass, you know, the usual cilantro, green onion, mint, those limes, cilantro, fish sauce. Okay, so all my yellow bass are defrosted. There's about 20 of them. They're not that big. That's why it just looks like this, but <clears throat> yeah, they're like this baby size. So how I filleted them was left the tail, left both sides of the fillets on here. Let me see if I can get a, yeah, so ba basically it's just like this. Both fillets are still intact. Just like that. Planning to deep fry them and then I'm gonna try to make some deep fried fish la with these. And we'll see how that goes. Okay, so for the frying process, <clears throat> I'm just gonna keep this one as simple as possible. Just got the fish and some egg. And then just gonna dip it in some flour then into the oil for this dish keeping it simple for the fried process so we'll see how that turns out all right <clears throat> just dropped my first batch in the oil so far they're looking pretty good we'll uh, keep you guys updated on the finished fried product all right guys this is the finished product of the fried yellow bass What it looks like 
next up I'm gonna make the la sauce for it and then I'm gonna pour it over and see how it looks what turns out it's gonna be my first time so let's hope for the best all right so I have some lime juice right here I'm just gonna go ahead and squeeze them into a bowl all right so i have the lime all squeezed into the bowl now to that i'm gonna add some fish sauce should be about good next up i'm gonna add some chopped lemongrass these are already pre-chopped you can chop your own of course if you don't have these and then to that i'm gonna add some chopped thai chilies I think that's all I'm gonna add for now. I'm gonna go ahead and mix it, taste it, and then see if I need to add any more. All right, so I've transferred the fish into a mixing bowl. I'm gonna slowly pour the sauce in and uh, toss it in just slightly. And then once I'm done with this, I'll finish with some garnish. All right, so I just got them tossing it, drained out the excess liquid. Don't want it to be too soggy. Um, gave it a taste it tastes pretty good already but main part of uh, la is some rice powder roasted rice powder so i'm gonna go ahead and add some of that if you guys don't have it you can roast your own as well it gives it a nice nutty flavor to the la so don't forget to add that i'm gonna go ahead and give this another toss all right got done tossing it it's not too bad it tastes pretty good just gonna finish it off with some uh, green garnish and call it good okay I'm just got done adding the garnish um, it's mint cilantro green onions and cilantro don't be afraid to add a lot of garnish because the more the better adds it adds the uh, that freshness to it i'm just gonna go ahead and toss this and plate it and get it ready to go all right just got done plating the yellow bass fly ready to go